Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you for taking up uh, this very important recognition for some uh, terrifically vigilant, important people. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I rise today to commend the vigilant citizens and law enforcement officials of New York City and Connecticut, whose efforts resulted in bringing Faisal Shahad into custody a mere 53 hours after his failed bomb attempt in Times Square this past weekend. From the alertness of Lance Orton and Dwayne Jackson noticing a suspicious vehicle in Midtown Manhattan on Saturday to the response of the NYPD to this report to the arrest of Mr. Shahad late Monday evening to the ongoing investigation into how the bombing happened. Local, state and federal law enforcement officials have led a coordinated effort that will bring the facts forward, allow us to learn and improve and bring the terrorist to justice. Without this interagency communication, this incident could have escalated into a far more serious and dangerous incident. We must continue to work with state and local partners to bolster preparedness and terrorism prevention efforts. To my constituents in Connecticut, I know that the discovery that the suspect in the Times Square bombing attempt has been living in Fairfield County is a jarring reminder that due to our proximity to New York City, we face special and uncertain security concerns. Fairfield County was uniquely impacted by 9-11, and this incident is a timely reminder that we must remain sensitive and alert to our unique vulnerability. I want to specifically recognize the Bridgeport Police Department, including Captain James Valladero and members of the, Detec the Detective Bureau, as well as the Bridgeport Police Department's Patrol Division and members of the FBI Safe Streets Task Force, supervised by Sergeant Juan Gonzalez, Jr., for their role in the events of the last few days. Thank you uh, to all who helped avert a catastrophe, and I yield back the remainder of my time.